Hannah, this is Piles of Books, and today I am going to be sharing a library book sale haul. So today is Monday. This past Friday, I went to a library book sale, um, a pretty big library in a city an hour away from me. Um, I've only been to this book sale one other time, and that was two years ago. Um, I definitely did not buy as many books this go around, I don't think, but I did still get lots of great treasures. So I went with my husband and our four kids. There were a lot of people. It was fairly hectic. I did intend to kind of take you guys along with me, but it was just, no, nah. it wasn't going to happen once I got there. So um, I do have these books fairly sorted out. So we're just going to go through each stack. I'm probably not going to talk a lot about each book because this video would be way too long, but I'm sure I will share a little bit here and there about some of the books and why I bought them. So let's get into the books. So just really fast, Dia always shares what she's drinking. And so I thought that it would be kind of fun to maybe do that when I remember. Today I have just plain old um, black iced tea, sun tea. It's suddenly very warm here like it's been cold for a long time and now I feel like we're kind of maybe skipping spring um, we do have a storm coming in tonight so it is extremely windy and it's fairly warm so iced tea tastes perfect okay we are going to start with the kids books so the first one I got is the Aesop for children by Milo Winter um, and I did actually I was going to need to buy this one for my daughter um, for school and then this one as well a child's book of poems and I'm not sure how to say this name um, but this is poetry book that we were gonna need for school anyway so I've gotten it out from the library before it is beautiful the poems are lovely and so I am very excited to finally own that one um, then I got these two for my uh, Thomas the train loving two-year-old James in a Mess, and Trouble for Thomas. Um, another poetry book is the Random House Book of Poetry for Children. So we have gotten this one from the library as well, um, but we've never owned it. So I was excited about this one. Um, it's illustrated by Arnold Lobel. So those are always fun. And um, the pictures are cute. Then I got the second volume of The Story of the World. So I already own this one, and I'm going to be giving that one to a friend. Um, then we got four Encyclopedia Brown books. This Anastasia Krupnik by Lois Lowry. So I have read Number of the Stars um, by Lois Lowry, but that's it. I dropped that one. Um, then I got... <laughs> The kitten book. So we had or have the puppy book by the same people and it has been a favorite of my kids' forever. So anyway, I didn't even know that there was a kitten book. We grabbed that one. Then this one, Miss Maple Seeds by Eliza Wheeler. We own this book and we love this book. Uh, this is in excellent condition so I'm going to be giving this as a gift to my niece that will be born soon. Um, then we've got this, um, the United States Constitution. This is like a textbook sort of thing. Um, Fish is Fish by Leo Liani. I don't, I'm not sure how to say that name either, but anyway, this is one, again, we've gotten from the library. It's very cute. The Hundred Penny Box by Sharon Bell Mathis. I... I'm not familiar with this, but I feel like I have seen it on um, different, like, homeschool book lists. So, um, then this is really fun. We got Waltzing Matilda. Um, so, we follow the Ambleside Online curriculum, and one of the folk songs last year, I think it was just last year, one of the folk songs was Waltzing Matilda, and it is a lasting favorite in our house. So, this is kind of just a fun picture book with the lyrics. The lyrics are not quite the same, I don't think, but... It's a fun one. So that was one of my girls, I think my four-year-old, found that on a shelf that I wasn't even going to look at because it looked like it had books. For whatever reason, I wasn't really interested in them, but that one was stuck there. So I was glad she found that. Um, then we got Anno's Aesop. We really enjoy these Anno books. 
Anna's Magic Seeds. I think I might own this one, and if I do, I'll probably also give that one to my niece. Um, then we got Children of the Earth and Sky. This is five stories about Native American like lore and legends. Again, this is one we've gotten from the library multiple times and have enjoyed, so that will be fun to own. Then The Treasure by Yuri Shulovitz. We haven't read this one, but we've read some others by this author and have enjoyed them, so it's cute. I like, the, the pictures are sweet to look at, and then there's always just like a small amount of text, so I feel like these are really good for, you know, especially young children sitting on your lap, curling up with a good book. Um, then we got St. George and the Dragon by Margaret Hodges. Um, again, we own this one, um, but ours is a, a paperback. So I'm going to keep this one and give the other one away. This is such a fun story if you've never read it. We really like this. Then I got a number of, let's see, five Berenstain Bears I Can Read books. So my six-year-old um, has been enjoying these. Um, that normally is something that I would just get from the library, but all the kids' books were four for a dollar, and so I thought she might enjoy um, having some, you know, to own and just to read over and over. So those will probably go on her own personal bookshelf. Then we got Chester's Way by Kevin Hankies. <laughs> these, we really like these um, Chester books. They're so cute. And this one, um, I don't know, just the story. <laughs> the story is really adorable. And again, the pictures are uh, fun to look at. And there's not really a ton of text, so they are good for our age ranges in our house. Then we got Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. Um, we have always really enjoyed, um, what's that called? The little boy's name is Peter. It's something about snow. I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, um, I think we've read this one from the library, but we've never owned it. Yeah, I can't think of what that book is called, but it's very cute. Um, and then Mama, Do You Love Me? So this is, again, one that we've gotten from the library. It's very cute, very sweet. We like that one. Um, and then my son, who is eight, has really been getting into the Hardy Boys recently, and we hit... <laughs> The Hardy Boys jackpot. So these were on the kids' table. They were four for a dollar, and I didn't count how many he got, but there were a lot. So there, there were a bunch of them. Um, and I think there were a few that we already owned, so he left those there. But we owned, I don't know, like maybe the first three or four, and then my sister-in-law picked up several from the thrift store for us last or a couple weekends ago, and then he grabbed all of these. So that was really fun um, for him. He was excited about that. Okay, so the next is like art books, I guess. Um, there's some behind me here. Um, so they had music there, the piano music. And when I was there two years ago, I remember like I looked at the piano music and I didn't get any. But then I kind of regretted that later. Like there were some books there that I probably should have grabbed. So I definitely wanted to make a point to look at the piano music this time. Um, and I did get two things. So I got um, vocal selections from Thriller on the Roof. So I have seen like a lot of classic movies. But for some reason I have never actually seen the Thriller on the Roof. But I do know several of the songs or recognize them. I've heard them. Um, anyway, so this is fun. I might give this to my sister-in-law who really enjoys the movie, um, but I also might just keep it for myself because I think it's kind of fun and it's in really good condition. Um, and then the other one I got is this first Lessons in Bach for the piano. So this is like pretty simple piano music. Um, my son is not like quite ready for this, but it, again, is just in really good condition. And I think that these were a dollar a piece. So I grabbed that one as well. I don't have a ton of classical music books for, like, young learners. So I definitely want to, you know, be building that collection for when my kids do get to that point. Um, and then I got this Costume and Fashion in Color, 1550 to 1760. <laughs> so this is just fun. Um, there is some text in here 
like at the beginning but there's a lot of um just i mean it is like the history of fashion so there's a lot of just fashion plates um i can kind of see us using this as a school resource but i can also kind of see letting my little girls have it to make some paper dolls with they really enjoy making paper dolls so that's fun and then the real prize is these um the world of books so there's um it's the time life library of art i have seen these for sale and i've never bought them um but we have the world of whistler and i guess i'll just show you really quick the inside so there is like obviously some text but then there's also paintings um so we have the world of whistler and then the world of giotto i'm not totally sure i wasn't really raised with like classic art so this is all new to me the world of rodin um we've got who is this one watto Velasquez. I'm probably butchering these names, so if you know, please forgive me. Like I said, this is new to me. De La Croix. Oh, another Giotto, except for this one's red, so I don't know if those are the same. Um, Winslow Homer. I was excited about this because my sister-in-law enjoys his paintings. Um, and then Gainsborough. So they come in these sleeves, all but one. One of them doesn't have a sleeve. Um, and then the books vary in condition. Some are definitely nicer than others, but they are all, you know, pretty nice. So I was excited to, oh, I can't get it together. Oh, there we go. So I was excited to see those and grab them. They were $2 a piece. So I guess like the kids' books were four for a dollar. And then I pretty much everything else I bought was two dollars there were a few i think that were maybe a dollar but for the most part everything else was two dollars okay next time next let's see here we can do history and biographies so i got quite a few of these now this first one i definitely remember picking it up but i don't remember putting it in my stack so i'm not like disappointed necessarily that I have it but I also don't know if I'm ever gonna read it and that is um this biography of Johnny Cash fun um and then this is Unsinkable a memoir of Debbie Reynolds J.R.R. Tolkien the biography um this next one is a landmark book which I have mentioned before um Custer's Last Stand so I actually think we already own this one if we do, I will um, probably just sell this one. And then I've got this one about Eisenhower. This book is huge. You've got Dick Van Dyke, My Lucky Life in and Out of Show Business. Louisa May Alcott. So I thought this was very timely because of Alcott April. I don't know if I'll get to that one though or not. Um, then we've got nothing like it in the world this is by stephen ambrose so i've never read anything by stephen ambrose but we own courage undaunted or undaunted courage whichever one it is about lewis and clark by him um e h gombrich a little history of the world so i have heard excellent things about this and my sister-in-law who was also at the sale she actually found this for me she already owned it so um and then the prize winner of defiance ohio I have never heard of this. Um, my husband is one of 10 kids, and this says how my mother raised 10 kids on 25 words or less. Anyway, so he just picked it up and thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, and then when I was checking out, there was an older man there, and he was like, oh, that's such a great book, and it's such a great movie. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I've never heard of it, but he thought it was good, so... That's what I'm looking forward to. And then Ewell Gibbons, Stalking the Good Life. So I just talked about his book, Stalking the Wild Asparagus, in my last video, I think. This is just kind of another 
like nature book by Hint. All right, and next we'll just keep going with nonfiction. So there's just like a variety of nonfiction books in this deck. This is The Way We Lived, a photographic record of work in a vanished America. So this just had um, some really nice black and white pictures of different things. Um, I can definitely see us using that for school. Then I got this Hunt Gather Parent. This book is kind of dirty. Um, this is one that I've been wanting to read. Um, I think I have checked it out from the library and I just didn't get around to it. But um, yeah, there's that one. And then I rarely ever, ever look at the cookbooks when I go to a sale like this. I have kind of like my preferred style of cooking and I don't really ever find things that fit that, I guess. Um, but again, my sister-in-law, she was looking at some. And so while she was standing there, I also glanced through and I found this modern country cooking and um, just the pictures definitely pulled me in. And then it's like per um, month. So kind of seasonal eating. Um, yeah. So anyway, it looked like a fun one. Then I got Hallie's Bible Handbook. I almost did not get this because I couldn't remember if we already had this one or not. It seems so familiar to me, but I didn't see it on our shelf. So I must have seen it somewhere else. Then I got this, The Great Giveaway, Reclaiming the Mission of the Church from Big Business, Parachurch Organizations, Psychotherapy, Consumer Capitalism, and Other Maladies. I don't, I don't know, but it's in really good condition. Two dollars, so I thought my husband might like to read that one. Then I got these three books. I almost seems like there was maybe another one, but these three books on T.S. Eliot's poetry. Some of, or this one is written by him, On Poetry and Poets, T.S. Eliot's, T.S. Eliot, The Use of Poetry and the Use of Criticism, and then Critics on T.S. Eliot. So I have never read anything by T.S. Eliot, but we do own one of his books, and I do hear, like, this is a name that comes up a lot in different, like, reading groups and things that I'm in, so grab those. And then I got The Four Loves by C.S. Lewis. All right, I got The Soup Cleanse. Um, so I definitely like things like this, eating soup, bone broth, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so this just checked several boxes for me. Um, then I got The Reason for God by Tim Timothy Keller. Um, I've only read The Prodigal God by him. Um, and then I'm reading through this year his, um, Psalms devotional. So I grabbed that one. Um, Mothers and Sons, Raising Boys to Be Men by Jean Lush, Lush, um, and then Timothy Keller's The Meaning of Marriage. Then I got The Road to Walden, 12 Life, Life Lessons from a Sojourn to Thoreau's Cabin. I have never read Thoreau's books, um, but I have a nice set of them. So they are something that I was wanting to kind of get to this year. And there were a few different books like this about um Thoreau but I just grabbed one then this is totally random infant massage a handbook for loving parents um I don't have a baby my youngest is two and a half um so I don't know if I will keep this I mean it could definitely come in handy um with some of the other things that I do or I will give this to a friend maybe who has babies and then this is a super super fun prize that I completely forgot about until I was pulling these out of the box today and that is the Foxfire book um there was only one there and I got this for two dollars which is a steal if you are familiar with them at all I don't know I thought that they had numbers but maybe not anyway I was really excited about this so of course now I'm probably going to have to complete the collection at some point right? All right. And then the last stack is fiction books. So, um, we've got Mogum's Choice of Kipling's Best. So this is just, um, a collection of different stories by Rudyard Kipling. Um, Tolstoy's The Death of Ivan Ilyich and Other Stories. Um, I think I maybe own, oh, I took my novels upstairs. I might own Ivan Ilyich, 
I can't remember, but I know I don't have any of the other books that are in, or the other stories that are in that volume. Then I got this, Katharina. Um, it's a, an, a poem. It's a, I know nothing about this by J.G. Holland. If you know anything about this, I would love to know. Um, but it says, I dedicate Katharina, the work of my hand, to Elizabeth, the wife of my heart. And I just thought that, that was so cute. And it's just a very cute little green book. So I'm going to put it with some other green books that I have as um, decoration. All right, then I got this Agatha Christie trivia. Um, oh, that just sounded kind of fun. I don't know if I'll keep this or give it as a gift, but there's just like a ton of different questions in here. It's just a trivia book by Agatha Christie. Then I was excited to find this. This is Echo Mountain by Lauren Wolk. Um, this is the only book by her, I think, that I have read. Um, but I loved this. I don't know if I read this last year or two springs ago. Either way, I was excited to find this. It's a really nice copy. And this I did pay $3 for. All right, then I got Love and Friendship and Other Early Works by Jane Austen. I could not remember. Um, I just hauled like a collection of short stories by her and I couldn't remember what all was in there. Um, so I did grab this. I also, they had a, um, in the same edition, a um, like a collection of her letters and journals maybe. And I gave that to a friend. So if I have these stories in that other edition, I will give her this one as well. And then I got A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I've never read this, but I have heard lots of good things about it. Um, and I got Dorothy L. Sayers' Whose Body. Um, then I got Claude and Camille, a novel of Monet. So we will be studying Monet in our next homeschool term of the next few months. Um, so I got this for myself to read. Then I got this book, The Orchardist by Amanda Copeland. I don't know anything about this, but um, the picture looked beautiful. And then um, it says, at the turn of the 20th century in a rural stretch of the Pacific Northwest, a reclusive orchardist, William Talmadge, tends to apples and apricots as if they were loved ones. A gentle man, he's found solace in the sweetness of the fruit he grows in the quiet beating heart of the land he cultivates. So I don't know anything about it. It looks like there might be some things that I don't really want to read about, but I'm going to give it a try. Then I got Secretariat by William Knack. Um, I enjoyed this movie years ago, so grab the book. Um, then this, I have never seen this. This is A Little House Reader, a collection of writings by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, so this just looked kind of fun. There's some different poems and short stories. Yeah, so I was excited to find that. Um, then we got, or I got, The Song of Roland. So this is kind of falling apart and it's fairly marked up, but that's also fun because it means that it was probably well loved. Um, then I got The Dubliners by James Joyce. And I also got a portrait of the artist as a young man. So I've never read anything by James Joyce. I didn't own anything by him either. I grabbed those. Um, then I got, okay, I got The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. And these are in verse. So now I have to decide what exactly I'm going to read for that category for the literary life. And then two more I got, this is funny. Okay, I got The Hornblower Saga by C.S. Forster. And I know that not, this whole story is not great. I've never read anything. Um, I've never read any of them, but I've been told like, just because you like one book doesn't mean you're gonna like the others or want to read them. Um, but I got this and I thought it was kind of funny once I got it home, I realized there's, it's one, two, three, and then 11. <laughs> but this number 11 book is not even the same publisher as the other one. Oh yeah, it is, I guess, Pinnacle Books, but it's just a different like edition of that because it doesn't have the same logo thing. But anyway, so I grabbed those. And then The Little Ark by, 
I'm not sure how to say it. So I don't, I don't know any about anything about this book. I just know that it is sought after. And so when I saw it for $2, I thought I better grab it for myself to either read or sell. Okay, so there were two other books that I bought. Like I said, I bought that collection of Jane Austen's letters. And then the other one was The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Is that what it's called? That feels kind of funny saying it out loud, but I think that's what it's called. So years ago, um, before, I think it was the summer that I was expecting my oldest, I found at the thrift store just The Edwardian Lady. And, um, I have enjoyed it. I haven't looked through it in a long time, but I have always wanted the, the country diary of an Edwardian lady. And, um, I think I've even gotten it from the library before. I just, I've known I wanted it. And so I keep my eyes open for it, but I, um, I don't see it for sale very often. Like, I mean, I'm sure I could you know, get on Amazon or Abe Books or something and find it. But, um, when was that? Thursday. So the day before the book sale. One of my favorite private used booksellers, she's just a homeschool mom, um, was selling books. And that was one of them, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And so she posted it on Instagram. I saw it. And without really even hesitating, I, I claimed it. I wanted it. It's, it wasn't cheap. Um, but it's what, it's what I've been wanting and I was happy to support her. So, um, I was very excited about it. A couple hours later I was thinking about it and I'm like, I should have waited because maybe I'll find it at the book sale. And then I'm like, you know what? No, I'm glad I didn't wait because there were a couple of other people who claimed it after me wanting it, you know, if I decided to pass or something. And anyway, so it was fine. It was fine. Well, what do you know? <laughs> I did find the book. So, and it was $2, which is considerably less than what I paid for my copy, but that's okay. I gave that one to my friend, the same friend that I gave Jane Austen's letters to. So anyway, I was glad, I was happy to find it. It was very fun. Um, and I'm not sad about having already bought it from this other lady. It worked out in the end. I'm glad that it worked out the way that it did. All right, so that's all I've got to share with you today. Thank you so much for being here. I would absolutely love to know if you have any thoughts about any of these books. Please let me know in the comments below as well as what you've been reading or buying for your home library recently. So I'm going to go find homes for all of these books and we will see you in the next video.